Hello, people. Happy Wednesday. All right. Hello, hello. So today is the third and final session on this piece. We're going to go ahead and do the background and talk about maybe doing some color holds and what that means and messing around with the sky a little bit and doing some fluffy clouds and see if we can't tie in that uh, front paw of that wolf to that foreground a little better. So we'll see what we can manage. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm using this yellow color as our light source. I will say I do kind of like that sort of muted green. That we kind of have going on. So we may end up just kind of sticking with that color. This might do some variance on it. Uh, a, a little bit, just trying to mess with some shadow a little bit, trying to darken it up, but I, I really don't know. It's going to be one of those things we kind of, once we get to it, we'll try and figure it out.
There we go. I was on the wrong damn layer. I'm going to kind of play around with these clouds a little bit. See if we can do a little bit of a different style on them than I might normally do. The floating paw is going to be interesting. Yeah, every time every time I open this thing and I look at the fur, I'm like, hell yeah, that looks awesome. <laughs> What's up, dude? You know, just just chilling, just doing this uh, color rendering thing. You know, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Why aren't we showing up?
think we'll drop that to about there. Find our yellow color and try and hit those clouds with a few little highlights. <laughs> kind of. Did do that. I did everything on one layer. That's kind of silly of me. That's okay. I think that might be as good as that foot's really gonna get. <laughs> I think that helps that just that dark shadow under it. Helps ground it a little more. But, like I said, unfortunately, you just, you just can't do a whole lot. You're kind of just at the mercy of uh, what was going down. 
when the artist decided to do it. These trees are begging for a color hold. No, no, nothing interesting. Just a lot of work. A lot of work and a lot of playing Tiny Tina's Wonderland because that game is awesome. Well, since you guys are here, uh, I decided what I'm going to be doing in the upcoming weeks on as far as art goes on this channel. So I'll let you know before I post anything on Facebook um, or other social media. I'm going to end up doing, uh, next week, we're going to do another viewer-guided or viewer-controlled uh, live stream. That was a lot of fun when we did that last month. We just kind of give the reins over to all of you guys. So we're going to do that again uh, next week. The week after, we're going to go ahead and get set up for... Um, live painting. So we'll do some live painting. Um, I'll let uh, you guys and other viewers kind of uh, give your input on what we're doing and maybe discuss uh, some of the techniques that go into that painting. Let you guys select some colors or, or patterns or something that we do. Uh, and then I think I also might give away a couple of paintings. Uh, so we might end up doing some, uh, you know, a wheel spins or randoms on, on giveaways. If anyone happens to be out of state or out of country, that's fine. I'll pay the shipping on that. Um, I think it'd be cool to know that my, my paintings are out there in other places with folks that uh, enjoy it. So 
I think that's what we're going to end up doing here in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it'll be a good time. I don't like those trees. I just don't. Let's try. There we go. I think that looks better. Let's see if I can't add even more separation between the foreground, middle ground, and background here.
So yeah, hopefully that goes well, and if folks like it, then uh, we'll make that a, a regular part of the, the streaming. Uh, I can't go necessarily giving out a whole bunch of paintings all the time, so for the first few times, uh, we'll definitely do at least uh, at least two, two free paintings to two random users. I, I don't know that I'm done with the mountain. I'm just kind of bouncing around. Just popping in. A little dimension on the trees here and there. Little bits of light hitting some things. think this big mountain in the back, I definitely need to go in and do a, a pass of some shadows here just to give that a little more depth.
I think I've pushed that back mountain too far. Maybe it's those clouds. Let's play with those clouds. See, I did it to myself again. I, I haven't been labeling my layers and I have no idea where those clouds are. <laughs> There they are. Hmm. Maybe I do got to darken up the line art on that mountain a little bit. There we go. I think that brings that back back in a little bit. Did you have uh, some suggestions on that mountain, Ashley? You know, I'm open to it all. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Ooh, that's not what I was trying to do. We'll try and plop in a little bit of color here and there then. Keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry about that. Does that feel feel any better? We're just still not there.
Or are you talking about the mountain in the background? I'm, I guess I, I guess I'm not sure what you were referencing directly. That's on me. I apologize. Offered to pay you a thousand dollars to fix hail damage on your car. <laughs> of course. He was on a scooter. <laughs> I would trust that guy all day.
Yeah, there, there's nothing untrustworthy there for sure. <laughs> Whatever gets him to shove off, I suppose. Slow some light textures on that tree there. <laughs> well, as long as he's leaving you alone. Good. How are you uh, feeling about those mountains now, Ashley? I went and had a, a couple color combinations and stuff like that to make it seem a little more mixed in. Good, good.
I'm just playing around here. I'm not 100% sold on what I'm doing right now. Just seeing what I like and what might work. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I think I was kind of headed that way in a slow way. <laughs> I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of time on the grass. I mean, by no means is it a focal point, but it is, it is important to at least have a little something there. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Oh yeah, Michelle Michelle just wanted to know because she was thinking about picking up some overtime at work and then ended up not being a thing, so it's fine. We're good to do whatever for as long as we want.
All right, gang, I'm going to take a quick five minutes. We will come back and keep plugging away. I think we're coming up. Uh, I think we're coming up with something here. I think I like it. All right, we'll be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. Thank you guys for putting up with my little five minute breaks every week. But I think we're gonna take a look at this basket. That won't take long. And then I think I might go back to that mountain in the background and maybe add some a little color variation in there. Maybe some some browns, a little bit of orange or something, just to kind of hint more at some some different rocks and some color breakups, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the busket. Why am I doing it this way? Let's do that. Nope, that's not giving me the desired effect. Oh. Throwing some real light texture on that. Let's try that again. Add some texture to her thighs. Um, we can take a look. 
let me poke about with this and we'll we'll take a look and see if there's something that can't be added there And I did that just so we can bring just just a little bit, just enough attention to the artist signatures down there. Just a little bit. So, her thighs. Well, what do you th what what do you think about on her thighs? Are you, are you thinking that they're coming across too plasticky or something or? What do you what do you have in your 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 brain? Oh, to her tights. I read that as thighs. <laughs> That's why I was like, what's wrong with her thighs? Um, I did add a little bit of texture. But I am definitely okay with another pass on them. Oh, <laughs> definitely not what I meant to do. I can even do something kind of like that and then drop it down in opacity and see where that gets us. What about something like that? Do we feel any sort of way about it? Let's, let's try. Oop. They're just weird. Is that better?
almost wondering if I shouldn't try and add a little texture to her, a little more texture to her hood. Now that you got my brain thinking. Ooh, I think I like that. That's just kind of like a subtle... Subtle little bit to her... To her hood. I think I like that. Did notice that I want to make it just a couple brighter spots on her hood. like that. Hmm. 
Yeah, that that back mountain is still still a little odd or a little off. Maybe I I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know. I just don't know. I, I just don't know how I'm feeling about that mountain in the background. Looks fine from a distance. That's kind of what I was just looking at, um, but I don't, I don't know. I'm going to try bringing it to the foreground and seeing how it looks. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't mad at it. It looks like it kind of, I kind of blended it in 
a little too much to the color of his foot. I don't think it looks horrible. Don't think it looks horrible, I guess. All right. <clears throat> This is the part where we kind of stare at it for a moment and go, does anything else need to be done? Yeah, it kind of creates a little bit of a line tangent um, between that rock and its foot a little bit, which is why I tried to push it into the background before, but I think it does look better as part of the foreground. So I'm going to leave it. Hmm. Well, shoot, guys. Are we done? We might be done with this. Let's go ahead and switch it to black and white here. <laughs> One-legged wolf ever. <laughs> So I think I've identified a bit of a problem. And let me go into what I'm looking at here. This whole section in here almost instantly becomes a focal point because of how bright it is. Because you have all of this darkness or darker values, and then you have that brightness that's so creating almost like a, a focal point that draws your eye in straight to that mountain. You're drawn right into the wolf, are you? So, let's do a little, a little experiment with you guys. So... I'm going to uncover this. Cool, cool, and that's awesome. I'm gonna uncover it, and you let me know the first place your eye is drawn. And we'll do it one more time. Yeah, I think it does go f to the wolf's face for me as well. Or at least it stops there. Like my eyes want to go to that mountain, but then I get stuck on the wolf's eyes. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and draw a little more attention to
to the wolf's eyes. Or at least try to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, it would help if I was actually on the right layer of what I was trying to do. Here we go. And then add some very, a few more very bright spots on the snout there. Maybe that was too much. There we go. Just trying to. Get some more contrasty bits just to really draw the eye in. Yeah. All right, let me give this a go. Let's see. Yeah, I, th I think that helped. I think I'm drawn into the face of the wolf quite a bit more. <clears throat> now, folks could argue that the wolf shouldn't be the focal point of this and that I should probably bring more attention to her. But I kind of like the wolf being the focal point because it lets you explore all those cool textures and then sort of discover her secondary. Even though I guess technically she should be the focal point, but I kind of like that.
Hmm. All right, so let's drop in our signature here. <laughs> right. Cool. Well, I think uh, I think we're done early with this. That's super cool. Overall, I love how it came out. Uh, it's been a long time since I delved into something with a little more painterly style, did a lot more textures and just full out rendering. Um, but I dig it. I dig it. And I, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging around for the ride and seeing the process. Um, I think it's uh, interesting to get to see that put it on her ankle like a tattoo. <laughs> if she wasn't wearing leggings like in, I might consider it. <laughs> but uh, I like how it turned out. So let's not forget to, to save our, our work here. Huh. You know, I just noticed her belly button has a little bit of heat on it. You know, the, the light is coming in a bit strong. I think while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to try and dial that back just a little bit. There it is.
<laughs> Incubating a glow worm. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I think that, that dialed it back just enough. So when we go into black and white, it's not a, a focal point. Your eye's not necessarily drawn to it. Cool. So we have that. That's awesome. Let me go ahead and save that. Well, we got 20 minutes or so, 20, 25 minutes, whatever. Anything you guys want to do or see or talk about or whatever i got i got time Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you, though. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I do not need a motorcycle. I threw just the, the faintest little yellow overlay over everything just to kind of unify the color palette a little more and pull everything towards some of those highlights. It's real subtle, real subtle, but I think it works. So I'm going to be working on uh, some new merchandise, uh, new shirt designs and stuff like that uh, 
here in the coming days. And I try and tell everybody, if you come up with an idea or you have an idea that you think would be cool for a shirt or a hat or whatever, a hoodie, um, let me know. Let me know your idea. We can go back and forth. And if it's something that we ultimately can end up using, uh, I'll give you free merchandise. You know, whether it be a, a, you know, stickers or a hat or, you know, merchandise of your choosing. So keep that in mind. If you come up with any ideas, I'm happy to do that. Let's see, was there any, oh, goodness. Let me reload that real quick. I'm not sure if there was anything else that I was recently working on. Waiting for Clip Studio to load back up. No, nothing, nothing worth a squat that I was working on recently. You know, I did Let's see if I can bring it up real quick. I ended up being too broke to order a bunch of samples of stuff. I'll go to my merch store here real quick. But I did a, a line of shirts here. shirts and and tank tops and all in all the various different uh pride rainbows so yeah we have the six color pride rainbow transgender pride lesbian pride gay pride bisexual pride pansexual pride i tried tried to hit them all tried to be inclusive Uh, asexual pride, pansexual pride, non-binary, non-binary. So yeah, there's eight different uh, ones that I did. Uh, yeah. Well, um, I can I can try and reach out to them. We'll see. Uh, why not? What I would like to do would be to actually commission another artist to actually do a uh, another version of that, and then I'll go to town on it on a more serious level, uh, but using the same exact mindset of you know making it the care wear bear same color palette, everything just spend a lot more time on it, and uh, see if we can turn that into some merch. I think that would be too, super cool. But it's a matter of tracking down the right artist for the job. And, uh, you know, if it's going to end up being some sort of merchandise, maybe the detail needs to be pulled back just a little bit. When it comes to, you know, screen printing on T-shirts and stuff, the, the simpler the better. But maybe I'll uh, I'll put a poll out there on, on Facebook and uh, see what folks have an interest in in the Care Wear Bear uh, as a piece of merchandise, and if I can get enough interest in you know folks wanting to purchase you know a sticker or shirt or whatever that I can justify the cost for me commissioning somebody, um, I will I'll happily do so. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But uh, next week, 
like I said, we're going to do a viewer guided um, live stream. So that'll be fun. Maybe we'll end up with something a little more epic than the Care Wear Bear. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. And then the week after, we're going to do some live painting. And we're going to go ahead and give out uh, some, some paintings during that live stream as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, the, the Krypton one, uh, it's the third Saturday of every month. So I imagine it's supposed to be on the 15th. Yeah. I can check it on the, on their site or whatever, but I'll tell you what, um, I, and I'm not, I'm not trying to talk shit at all. Uh, Fred Gorham is, uh, a brilliant artist. The guy's super cool. He's the one that put together the art, art jam all those years ago and still kind of runs it. Um, it's my understanding that he's not in a place right now to really want to make the the artist jam what uh what it could be you know it's just it's, it's just a place where artists go and they sit down and they draw in the same room it just feels very much like a library it doesn't feel like a communal place where people can go and collaborate and bounce ideas off of each other you know uh you had putting together some sort of event for other artists you know, putting out an artist challenge or, or something, um, it just doesn't happen. And as I understand, those are things that he used to do. Um, and I guess uh, from the other folks that I've talked to, they they don't want to step on his toes and and start doing something with, without his blessing, since he's the guy that started it all. But um, so I, I, I pop in every now and again, every couple of months, but I, I really don't go. I don't, I don't, I don't hang out. Um, especially being a colorist in a room full of, you know, pencilers and inkers. It's, it's weird for me. <laughs> that was a bit of a ramble, but I mean, you're not wrong. There's artists there that I'm sure I could commission to do stuff. Uh, I have some friends, uh, you know, in the other communities, uh, in, in Facebook and stuff that, uh, are, are wonderful artists as well. All right, folks. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. We're about eight minutes early, but that's close enough. Um, I'm glad that we're done with the, the Red Riding Hood piece. Uh, I think it came out great. And again, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and seeing the process from start to finish over the last three weeks, providing some insight uh, into what you'd like to see, uh, even though you're not necessarily... Not not all of you that that attend are are artists, so to speak, or or anything like that. But that's what's needed sometimes is to have that uh, uh, other perspective or that outside perspective. So it's fun to collaborate with you guys. I totally see these as a collaboration most of the time, as I'm looking for your feedback, and you guys are more than happy to give it in most cases. So thanks for that, um, and we will see you next week. Have a good night.